ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக ஐம் ஹாப்பி டு வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா ஃபார் த கிளாஸ் நைன் சப்ஜெக்ட் பயாலஜி யூனிட் டூ கிங்டம் அனிமாலியா டுடே we are going to discuss about binomial nomenclature the word binomial by means two nomenclature means name carolus linnaeus the famous scientist he is carolus linnaeus he introduced the method of naming the animals with two names known as binomial nomenclature he only only introduced the binomial nomenclature with two names in the two names the first name is called genus and the second name second one is called species the genus the first name genus should always starts with capital letter and the species the second one starts with small letter okay the binomial names of some of the common animals are as follows as i said earlier the binomial name means two names see here these are the some common names of some animals the first one is amoeba the common name is amoeba binomial name is amoeba proteus in that the word first word first name is amoeba it is said to be genus and the second word is species the first name amoeba genus a starts with capital letter while the species the first letter st- starts with this small like that all the binomial names the genus should be capital and species should be in small okay second one is hydra the common name is hydra binomial name is hydra vulgaris third one is tapeworm binomial name tinea solium fourth one is earthworm the binomial name is lamito maruti fifth one is leech the binomial name is irudinaria granulosa children listen very carefully irudinaria granulosa and the last one is sixth one is cockroach the binomial name is periplanta americana so these are the animals some of the animals common name and the binomial name binomial name is nothing but having two names the first one is said to be genus name and the second one is said to be the species name the genus the first name starts with capital letter followed by all small letters including the species name clear children the next one we move on to invertebrate the word invertebrate or invertebrata invertebrates means the animals do not have backbone so invertebrates means the animals do not have backbone in that invertebrate the first phylum is phylum porifera bore pore bearers porifera phylum porifera we already discussed about the different phylum phylum porifera silentrata paltihelminthes hashelminthes annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata among this phylum the first eight phylum are invertebrates in that invertebrates the first one is phylum porifera these are multicellular that means the organisms comes under phylum porifera are having many cells multicellular 
non motile non motile means they cannot move from one place to another non motile aquatic organism aquatic organism is nothing but they live only in the water okay so these are multicellular non motile aquatic organisms commonly called as sponges they exhibit cellular grade of organization in that type of organism there is no tissue there is no organs there is no organ system only they have only cells so the organization they exhibit only cellular grade of organization the body is perforated with many pores small small pores are present that name of the pores is said to be ostia water enters into the body through that pores through the ostia and leads to a canal system the canal system circulates water throughout the body and carries food and oxygen clear children see the body wall contains spicules which form the skeletal framework see the picture here three different organism all comes under pilum porifera the reproduction is by both asexual method as well as sexual method example for pilum porifera is euplectella and cycon see the picture of cycon next we move on to second phylum pilum coelentrata children listen very carefully the pronunciation is very di uh, different the spelling is different the pronunciation is different pilum coelentrata other name is nidaria c silent nidaria so pilum coelentrata pilum coelentrate the coelentrates are aquatic organisms that means this type of organism this type of animals are live only in the water they are aquatic organisms mostly marine marine means they live in the sea they live in the ocean so mostly marine and very few are fresh water forms they are multicellular so these organisms under pilum coelentrata are multicellular organisms multicellular means many cells and radially symmetrical what is the meaning of radially symmetrical if we cut the body parts of the organisms through the central axis in any direction we can get equal identical halves that is called radial symmetry again i am telling if we cut the body parts of the organisms through the central axis in any different direction we can get the different identical halves that is called radial symmetry so the organisms are multicellular radially symmetrical and with tissue grade of organization the body wall is diploblastic diploblastic means it is of two layers one is ectoderm and another one is endoderm so the body wall is diploblastic with two layers the outer ectoderm and the inner mesoderm in between the ectoderm and the endoderm they have non cellular jelly like substance called mesoglia it has a central gastrovascular cavity called cilentron with the mouth surrounded by short tentacles the tentacles bear stinging cells called nidoblast please listen here nidoblast are nematocytes many cilentrates exhibit polymorphism poly means what many are different morphism means uh, they have different different morphological structures they inherit in different ways the organisms comes under cilentrates all are cilentrates only but they exhibit in different structure so that is called polymorphism so many cilentrates exhibits polymorphism which is the variation in the structure all organisms are different in their structure variation in the structure and function of their individuals of the same species they reproduce both asexual method as well as sexual method example for cilentrates uh, one is hydra another one is jellyfish see the structure of jellyfish and see the diagram of hydra
The next we move on to Pilum Palti Helminthus. Palti Helminthus means flat worm. The organisms comes under Palti Helminthus. Pilum Palti Helminthus are bilaterally symmetrical. What is the meaning of bilaterally symmetrical? Bilaterally means if we cut the body parts through the central axis, we can get only two identical halves. That is called bilaterally symmetrical. Okay. So, they are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic. The body is covered with three layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. Okay. So, they are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, acylomate. Acylomate means, A means absence without the body cavity, animals. Most of them are parasitic in nature. What is the meaning of parasite? They depend on other organism for the food. So, it totally depend on the host organism. Okay. So, suckers and hooks help the animal to attach in itself to the body of the host. Excretion occurs by a specialized cells called flame cells. So, one more question. Excretion takes place with the help of flame cells in pylum palti helminthus. Clear? These worms, the flayed worms, palti helminthus, are hermophrodites, having both male and female reproductive organs in a single individual. Hermophrodite means the male sex organ as well as the female sex organ. Both the male organ and female organ are present in a single individual that is called hermophrodites. Example, liver fluke and tapeworm. Clear? See the picture of a tapeworm and this is a liver fluke. Next, we move on to Pylum Aschelmanthus. Listen, Pylum Aschelmanthus. Aschelmanthus. Aschelmanthus is nothing but round worm. Aschelmanthus are bilaterally symmetrical. As I said um, earlier, bilaterally means if we cut the body parts through the central axis, we can get only two equal halves. That is called bilaterally symmetrical. So, Aschelmanthus are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic. It is made up of three layers, germ layer, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm, triploblastic animals. The body cavity is a pseudocelum. Pseudocelum means what? False coelom. False body cavity. They exist as free living soil forms or as parasites. The body is round and pointed at both the ends. So, the body of the organism is round, but they have point on both the end, anterior as well as the posterior end. It is unsegmented, the body parts are unsegmented and covered by a thin cuticles. So, the whole body is covered by a thin cuticles. Sexes are separate. So, male organ, male animal different and female organ, female animal different. Clear? The most common diseases caused by nematodes in human beings are elephantitis and ascaris. ascaris. So, example is ascaris. See the picture here. Adult worm, female and male. This is a round worm. The next fifth one is pylum annelida. Annelida, the word annelida means segmented worms. The body has some segments. These are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic made up of three layers ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. Triploblastic. First true coelomate having the body cavity.
having body cavity with organ system grade of organization so cell cellular level tissue level organ level and organ system level here the organ system grade of organization the body is externally divided into segments called metamers joined by ring like structure called annuli it is covered by moist thin cuticle stay and parapodia are locomotory organs so with the help of stay and parapodia the organisms uh, move from one place to another so this stay and parapodia are locomotion locomotory organs sexes may be separate or united example for uh, pilum annelida segmented worms near is earthworm and leaves see here this is a picture of earthworm having so many segments and then next one is leech here also so many segments are there so pilum annelida means segmented worms thank you children we will see you tomorrow